Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the numerical integration. Today we will discuss about how we can construct the MATLAB code for the composite trapezoidal rule for solving this uh, indefinite uh, or definite integration from the f of x from a to b. Myself, Dr. Garg, working in the School of Mathematics, Thapar Institute, India. You can contact me, either of my email IDs are there if you feel any doubt regarding the MATLAB programming. What is the objective of this lecture is that uh, our target is to is to construct the MATLAB code uh, in generalization that is either you can solve this problem with the help of this uh, trapezoidal rule with the uh, with the MATLAB either you can solve this function this and this and so on so what you can do is that you have to simply replace whatever the function of the f of x with your own object with your own function and then state it with your limits a and b now in order to define this firstly we will see what is the composite trapezoidal rule and for what purpose it is helpful uh, in mathematics, the trapezoidal rule is a numerical integration method which are helpful for solving this, uh, which are helpful for finding the approximate value of the definite integral that is from the limit a to b f of x. So whatever the nature of the f of x are there, so it can be defined over here. So this rule is basically uh, approximating the values of the f of x provided that uh, uh, between the two points a and b, they will pass through the linear function. So remember that the trapezoidal rule is used for finding the linear function through this. However, if we in the next class, we will see about the Simpson one third rule, they are using the uh, parabolic curves are there. So how you can solve that? For, so for any of the function f of x, if you have the function f of x and the limits a and b, we can define the uh, trapezoidal rule as h by 2 f of a that is a limit at the lower point limit at the upper points and twice the uh, the increments are there where this h is called as the width of the uh, of the data set so our goal is to construct the, the matlab code of this expression so how we can do that i can simply take the one numerical example like uh, in order to evaluate this integration by using the trapezoidal rule so what is our target is that our target is to define this integration by using this here in the matlab so that is a very simple uh, rule is there. We can simply construct in the within our three lines. So we can start the MATLAB code. Whatever I have written here, you can simply copy this in your MATLAB file. So you have to start with a format. If you want to display up to the four decimal places, if you want to display a result up to say uh, 16 or eight decimal places are there, you can use here as a long format long. After that, whatever you have to store uh, uh, so far, you have to uh, clear all the store variables and then you have finally cleared the screen. Now, in order to define this, what is the main function that this is a function. So you can firstly define whatever the function you have, you have to define the function here. This is at the rate of x, one dot divided by one plus x. If you have some another function, you have to define here. After that, this is the lower limit a. So you have to put the user definedly. That is, it's a generalization. So you can put a as input the enter the lower limit a or else you can also define like here a is 1 but then it is only for this particular limit so on the other hand, I, I always suggest you can put up the inputs from the user a is input the lower limits after that you can put as the upper limit that is a called as a b so called as the input the upper limits are there after that there is a need of the n also so what is how many sub intervals you need it so enter the number of the sub intervals so you can set as a sub intervals are 20 you can set intervals as a 10 as per your convenience once you are defining this then we can start with the matlab code you can define the h as nothing but b minus a divided by n now once you are defining this then you can see that this is nothing but a plus h a plus 2h a plus 3h and so on so it means this what is that this is a 1h this is a 2h, this is a 3h and up to the n minus 1h. So I can define index i code as a 1. This is a lower limit. They start from the 1. Upper limit is my n minus 1. And the in this this is called as the increment. So you can see the 1 and then 2, then 3 say so increment is 1. So therefore, what I can write this expression. I can write this expression as f of a plus i h. Look at that. Once i is 1, then a plus h. When i is 2, then it is a plus 2h and then so on. And we can compute the function value f by using here. So therefore, what is that expression of this? Now you can write the expression of this. This is called as the trapezoidal rule. So I call as f h by 2 into, that is a dot into, what is a, uh, this is f of a. So f of a plus 
two times this values all are stored in the form of the s but we need the sum also so we can write as a sum of the s plus the last value is my f of b so this is the expression this is the matlab code of this finally you can print the value like the value of the integration is percentage of f this f is used for the decimal part whatever the variable i have used out you can write here as a out so if you this is the uh, simple matlab code of there so if you want to see on the matlab window i can run it for you so you can see that i have uh, written each of one whatever i have explained in here so you can run the file so once you will run the file you can see what is the lower limit so in this example my lower limit is my 1 so i have set as a 1 what is my upper limit is upper limit is my 2 so i can set upper limit as a 2 enter the number of the sub intervals if you want as a 20s sub sub intervals so once you will press the enter then the this is the final answer of this numerical integration also you want to change the limits are there so say if i say number of the sub intervals in this case it will be say my 10 so then your result will be here also if you want to uh, change again say limits will be my 2 upper limits will be my say 6 number of the intervals are my 25 then the answer will be here so they are changing so that's why this is called as the generalization loop or you can say generalization matlab code are there so you can see that the what is the matlab code is this is the generalized matlab code make sure that you have to change the function here with respect to your own function so this is simple about the matlab code of the composite trapezoidal rule we will see in our next class how you can define the simpson one third rule in the similar uh, two or three lines are there till then you can simply follow this link for finding the more updated videos on the numerical methods best of luck students happy learning